All right, can we get this artifact anvil? Yes, we can. Artifact anvil. Let's go. Then I go like Eternal Winter or something. Gold Collector, I guess. With Gold Collector, I think it's Talisman of Aid, honestly. Well, Talisman of Speed. Well, well. I don't know. 15% or like 30%. I think it's the 30%. It seems better, honestly. Yeah, and then we go, uh, then we go Rageblade. Neat. Stars are born? No. Three's company? Maybe. You know, I'm just thinking, like, we could go for... What does this end up being? This ends up being... 13 gold? Right? Yeah, 13 gold. Versus... Honestly, I just kind of want to take it for the money. I think I'm just gonna go Stars are born. Then we'll do this. So we'll do this. We're we're gonna go Teemo, sell the Teemo, then we'll go Garen for the actual two star. Then we'll level, we'll throw in this guy for Warden. And then we're gonna do Gold Collector Ginsu's. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Then we're level four ten gold. You know? That's not bad. That's not bad. Hey, I got our money. Look at that. We already got our money back. Thank you. Thank you for the money. Best board and econ? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Using stars are born in, in that kind of hybrid way. And honestly, I'm kind of down to just push for this. Go trick shot. That way she can get more, more, um, more collectors off, you know? Kind of down for that. Just do that. It's not too bad. Especially since it seems that a lot of people went collector, I kind of want to end the fights very quickly, you know? Yeah. See, like, if I didn't level there, somebody would have died. Might have given them a gold. So Timo's exalted, Yasuo's exalted, Ash is exalted, Azir's exalted. No real way for me to get exalted in this game, I don't think. Hull Crusher over here. Yeah. If only my my Sivir was two star. If my Sivir was two star, then I would feel way better about this. I would feel way better about this. Yeah, like right here, this Caitlyn's probably gonna mess me up. Unless this, unless this Riven body blocks for my Sivir, which all depends on timing, which I don't think she's going to. Yeah, it's going to be the Garen. Okay. Which, I mean, we might be okay with, depending. It's all timing. Okay, cool. Oh my god, the three money, too. Oh. That's not what I meant to buy. That's so good. Now we need to go for something like this, Tristana. So we can get the uh so we can get that gargoyle. We could go for the Sunfire too. But yeah, no, I think that that's the play. I think we go for the gargoyle. Cool. Okay. So, realistically...
Is it ever push even farther? Is it ever push even farther? This team is the only one that I'm really worried about. This team, I guess, could be problematic, especially since they have Scroll of Haste. But I think we'll be okay. I don't think we need to push any further. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, especially since Sivir kind of just walks out of the same lane. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. And we got money. Oh my god. Collector's being so good to me this game. Thank you so much, Collector. And I, don't, I still don't think we push. Like, this guy... Uh, I mean... He built a shiv with Talisman of Aid. A little confusing. A little confusing. But... Sure. Maybe we go Bruiser. Bruiser seems... You know what? That seems worth. That seems worth it. How much money can I make over there? That's seven. So if I drop three gold, or if I drop two and then win. Which I think I'm going to win this one. So I need to drop two gold to make this worth it. There's one. Drop one more. Please. One more. Yeah, cool. Twenty Back up to 20 gold. Wow. Level 6, 20 gold. At the end of stage 2. Master plays. Master plays. Oh, and we got a Kaisa? For the, for the, for the tattoo of force? Where's the force go? Where does the force go? I think it might be Garen. Looking like a top uh, four for sure. Probably. Honestly, from this point, from this point, it seems super, super good. We could even go like Quicksilver on that. And if we find a Sivir, honestly, we just we just transition over to Kaisa, you know. I don't think we need this Teemo, though. I don't think we need this Teemo. How often do you just snag a 4-cost on stage, on stage 2 when available? I mean... It, it kind of depends on which one it is. Sometimes it just doesn't fit at all. When it doesn't fit at all, then I, then I don't really do it. But it really, like... I think I don't think that any of these items are worth slamming. It really depends. It really depends. The quicksilver would have been okay though. Yeah, no, we're fine. Cool. We didn't get anything from the collector there. Yeah, four cost on stage two only really happens when you're wind streaking though. Call to Adventure doesn't seem very good here. Honestly. I don't think that that's the play. Well Fed's definitely not. Scoreboard Scrapper, absolutely not. Idealism? Nah. You have my sword? I mean, overall, just like giving everybody AD doesn't sound bad. I think I'm just gonna go it. Go like an Infinity Edge here. Give her 100% crit, right? Uh, it's not 100% crit. It's 90% crit. Which is still good. Which is still good. And realistically, like, I'm trying to get rid of this Sivir so I can put the Kaisa, so I can put those items on Kaisa instead. Maybe it's actually do this, you know? Just slam a different gargoyles. We're about to be level 7, by the way. Wow. 
Fast 9 Aurelia for sure. Because Ink Shadow is not really doing it for me. I don't really like the Tattoo of Force. Guess the outcome of your next fight? I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Roll once. Mm. Let me roll again. Yeah, cool. So we'll do it this way. And we have a little bit of wounding this way, too. I think it's always put her in the corner here. I think it's always that. Like, part of the reason that I wanted to, that I really wanted to level up here, though, like, I really wanted to power up here, though, is because Teemo is going to give me 14 gold if I win this. Which, Kaisa with a Collector and Infinity Edge on 3-3. Three, three. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. There's Zoe if I want to take her. Which I think I do. Okay. Well, Zoe's taken, so we end up going for. I don't know. I guess it's just. I guess it's just the the uh, highest cost I could get. Next level, I can throw in Sage. I sure as hell can. What's up with that? Tattoo of Force Wukong? <laughs> okay. And actually, tattoo a force. I can just kind of, I can just kind of plop him wherever. He doesn't have to take the immediate, uh, the immediate um, aggro. How often do you just snag a five cost on stage three when available? Every time, every time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Games like here you go. Just take it. <laughs> you need this one, buddy. All right. So just to keep my streak going, I think I do. I think I do keep it going. Right. This guy could be problematic. Maybe. Probably not. Actually. Now that I'm looking at it, probably not. This guy could be. Maybe? Uh, I'm gonna go for it. I'll put in the I'll put in the sage. Sage seems apt here. It's only dropping down to 20, which realistically, like I could I could get so much more from, from collector too. Level 8 at 36, 20 gold. Not bad. Ho! Oh, my god! Oh my god. Yeah, um... What do I even say about this game? GG? I guess? Because, like, you have my sword was was actually quite nice, too. Because, like, Wukong takes advantage of that pretty well. I think it's honestly just going to be Legendary Soup. I don't even think we're playing, like, Aurelia. I think we're just playing Legendary Soup. Like, whatever that might be. Okay. Then we have this, uh... We have, uh... It's, I don't think it's Last Whisper here, right? I don't think it's Last Whisper. We could have five Story Weaver... But I don't think we want it. Honestly, in comparison, I just I don't think we want it. 
I think we go like Gunblade on Morgana. You know, we just go Gunblade on Morgana. I don't think we need to slam the uh, the Last Whisper though, because we have Talisman of Aid, and he's going to be focusing on whatever unit Kale is too. Yeah, like look at the positioning from that Wukong. Kind of nutty. Sheesh. Should I just be like somebody else that we all know of and just be like, I mean, it's like, it's like, honestly, it's not like, it's not even really high roll, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's not even really high roll. Like realistic. Oh, hold on. Actually, I have to do something real quick. You guys like that impression? I think my favorite part of the impression is is the not talking. I think that's my favorite part. We just play around Dragonlord, I think. Dragonlord Sage, and then we just go legendaries other than dragon lord sage combat blessing for the rest of the game um hp ad or ap probably hp probably hp i mean i'm kind of going a whole lot of ad though i'll go ad well yeah i'll go ad why not? Why not? AD is percentage based too? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'm going five. I don't think I'm going more story weaver than this, honestly. I think I'm going to be dropping the trick shots eventually too. Just put this all on, on uh, Aurelia. Because, like, this Wukong is crazy. Insane. Oh my god, the Collector Mr. 100, though. Like, 13 win streak with Collector on your main carry? I want a tally. I want a tally of how much my Collector has actually... How much my Collector has actually uh, gotten me this game. Because it's, it's got to be a lot. It's got to be a lot. I think we go for the glove, honestly. Because if we go for glove, then we can put Steadfast Heart on Galio. Or no, I mean, Bramble. Bramble. Bramble's fine. Yeah, Bramble. All right, so another Kaisa. Maybe we level up, we roll a little bit. Uh, okay, we have two star her, which is cool. Level nine, four, five. Okay. Can we hit two star her? Cool. All right, that's what I wanted. Which sure, I mean zero gold, but I think I think it's worth it when you get two star Kaisa. 
Especially since fights were getting a little bit close for my for my liking. Just a little bit close for my liking. Yeah, I don't think we're playing around this at all. I mean, like, does it even matter when you're getting this much money? Like, realistically? Free rerolls this round? Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Nice. Okay. Sure. Fast track to Kaisa 3. Why not? Anybody else playing her? I don't think so. Other people are playing Aurelia, that's for sure. Maybe I just sit at 9 and then uh, then 3-star my Kaisa. Maybe that's the play. Could be, could be. And if I get a better item for my, for my Wukong, I can just pop off the Tattoo of Force. Like, you can completely do that for free. Spirit Walker activated before he went into the back line. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Am I ever playing this Udyr? I mean, I guess I could, right? Tattoo of Force wouldn't be bad on him. We could always drop. Oh yeah, we can. We can. We can drop the. Uh, we can drop the Jacks for sure. That just does everything for me. And then we could even drop this Diana. Then we drop this Diana for Huey. Keep Drick shot with uh, with with Zaya. Yeah, yeah. I just I don't have any Shred or Sunder without Kale. So like I don't know how worth that is. You know, don't know how worth that is. Sivir for Aurelia. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a like a two star Aurelia. Because if I find a two star Aurelia, I think it's better than this Kaisa. But because right now I have Trick Shot with it, you know, and the Trick Shot's really good. And I think I just kind of sit here for a moment, just kind of collect. Maybe I'm actually supposed to be playing. Nah, if this was a two-star way, I would play those items from Morgana on him. Oh my god. Go, Wukong, go. Please. Please, 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 please. Wukong. 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 Oh my god. Alright. R.I.P. R.I.P. Well, there's my Lee Sin if I wanted to swap out. But I would need to... I don't I mean, like, honestly, I just... I feel like it's a three-star Kaisa angle. Honestly. Because of how many, like, Hueys and how many Aurelias are out there already. It's like, why else would I, would I do anything else? And if that's the case, I need Trick Shot. Which, like, why play Aurelia over over one of my over one of my trick shots. I mean I get yeah, like if okay. Fair. I can play I can play Aurelia over I can play uh Zaya and then I can play Aurelia instead of Huey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean that's 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 fine. We'll 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 just not play Dragon Lords. Four AM getting the better of you right now. Heading to sleep. Take care. Thanks for the stream. Absolutely. Thanks for being here for the stream. Hello? There we go. Yeah, another Kaisa. Do I just roll down for it now?
Probably not. I think I could roll down to like 40. I want to roll down for it next round. Because if it's not on carousel, then I'm just going to paint it. And then I then I get it. Like, easily, for sure. Then do I go for... Do I actually remove, like, one of the items? And then go for Gunblade on her? Maybe that's what I have to do. I feel like I have enough frontline is the thing. But, I mean, maybe she needs it. Maybe she needs it. I think that that actually might be the big brain play. Is get the Kaisa. Um, just remove the... Remove the Morgana from the comp. Like, take Morgana out, sell her. Put the Gunblade on the other two-star Kaisa. Right? Yeah, no Kaisa on Carousel. That's okay. We're gonna go Heavenly Emblem, though. Heavenly Emblem. That way we have some Omnivamp, which means that I might not have to do what I just was talking about. Because she's gonna have enough damage at that point. So we'll go Heavenly Emblem. We'll get some attack speed. We'll get some Omnivamp. Just need to find one Kaisa. Just one. Sure. Sure. One Kaisa, please. So then we put these on Huey, is what we do. Put these on Huey. And then we need to find one Kaisa this round. Oh, I just passed a... No Kaisa, really? That's super sad. That's super sad. I mean, I need to find it, right? I need to find the Kaisa. I don't think there are any out out there. So I mean there's still a chance, it's just lower now. My journey's only beginning. <laughs> Did I just lose two? This one? Yeah. Honestly, I do kind of need that gun blade for my Kaisa. Because the healing is just not enough. From the uh, from the Heavenly Emblem, it is, I mean, it's 3%. It's, it's not enough. So maybe I can get a gun blade from Elder Drag. Otherwise, yeah. Okay. I mean, like, I could, I could do two stars, you know? But I can't survive enough for way to actually print another one. So I need to do... I think I need to replace him with, like, a sage at this point. guard for this guy. There she is. Okay, let's let's do this right. Let's do this right. Let's put the gunblade here and then buy her. And then we just lose the collector, which is fine. Then we just need to find like a sage or something. There we go. There we go. Sage. Nice. Alright, three star Kaisa. Let's see if it's enough. It should be. It should be, especially with the Gunblade, I think. Big difference, right? Should be a huge difference. Uh, 
I mean, it looks pretty good. She just needs to not get bursted down. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, not gonna lie, that's pretty good. I think I think that that was the big brain play what I just did there. Maybe we even like second row her so she has more Omnivamp. Does that sound good? Or does that put her in too dangerous of a spot? I feel like it could be good. Two star that guy, huge. Massive, actually. I think that maybe what we want to do is like second row her. Like, I know it seems weird, but I think I want a second rower so that she has some extra, some extra Omni Vamp. Because then she can take some damage to get some mana too. Then she just full casts, like full heals on the cast. I mean, that looked pretty good. It looked a little bit riskier. But, like, I have a life to try it, is the thing. Is that who I just fought? No. No, it's not. Choose a component, Zyra gets me three copies of it? Alright, um... This guy is AP, so... Cloaks? I guess? Or Warmogs. Probably Cloaks. Alright, and then we're going to just position our Kaisa completely opposite the, uh, the Udyr. Yeah, just like that. Which I probably should have positioned my Kale over there too, but I wanted to keep I wanted to keep her away from the Hoy casts. You know? Like just burst down the Orn and then everything else should be okay from there, maybe. Maybe, maybe she 1v9s. Maybe. Cast again, please. Oh my god, she does she's not enough. She's not enough for the, for the, just the legendary team? That's crazy. All right, and then I have another heavenly emblem, actually. Sure. Sure. Let me just put that on Udyr. Two star Zaya. Let's try. Let's try second rowing her. Honestly, I think that I think it could be okay. Just so she takes a little bit of damage, she ends up. She ends up taking a little bit of damage, healing up, t getting some more mana before everything else. Just, you know. Mom Wukong. I think it's good enough. Big plays? He's not dead though. He's not dead though. <sighs> okay. Alright. He's not dead though. And he na now he knows my strat. That's the that's the terrible thing. That's the terrifying thing. Is that he knows my strat now. But I think that the big change that I can make is to make is to make Kale target whoever she's targeting. Right? That's I think the biggest change I can make. That way she sunders. Now we put the Hui closer to my Kaisa. Okay. She's gonna target the, the Hui next, right? 
No? Really? Now she's on the way. Okay. All right. Big, huge. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. GG. It's a first. My first, my first first of the set. All right. Those of you watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow my Twitch for more, and I will see you in the next one. Got that uh, real good sage tech going on. Eat.